Sadhya Nergojovich Japarov is a Kyrgyz politician who was the acting prime minister of Kyrgyzstan in the interim government following the resignation of Suranbay Jeanbarov amidst electoral protests. Japarov also became acting president of Kyrgyzstan after Jeanbarov's resignation, but resigned himself on the 14th of November 2020. On the 10th of January 2021, Japarov was elected as president of Kyrgyzstan. Japarov has been described as a nationalist and a populist. He has been compared to politicians like Ilham Aliyev and Donald Trump. Japarov was born in Kengsu, a village in the Tup district in what was then the Kyrgyz SSR within the Soviet Union. In the family of Nergojo and Kadik Japarov, after finishing his middle school education in 1986, he joined the Kyrgyz National Academy of Physical Culture and Sport. In 1987, Japarov was drafted into the Soviet army where he served for 2 years in Novosibirsk as a commander in a telecommunications division After returning in 1989 with the rank of junior sergeant Japarov continued his education in the academy until 1991 In 2006 Japarov graduated from the Kyrgyz Russian Slavic University with a degree in law Japarov began his political career after the 2005 Tulip Revolution. In March 2005, he was elected as member of the Supreme Council from the Tup Electoral District where he headed the Kelichek Parliamentary Faction. He was a supporter of President Kurmambek Bakiyev. In 2006, Japarov was a member of the State Awards Commission. In 2007, he was deputy chairman of the Amnesty Commission. In the 2007 parliamentary elections, he participated in the lists of the pro-presidential party AK Jol, which won the majority of seats in parliament, but went on to work as an advisor to the president. From 2008 to 2010, Japarov worked as an authorized representative of the National Agency for the Prevention of Corruption. In 2010, President Bakiyev was overthrown in the Kyrgyz Revolution of 2010. As a result of inter-ethnic clashes that took place soon in Oshan Jalalabad, Japarov and his associates took an active part, which according to their own statements, they tried to prevent clashes. However, they were accused by opponents in supporting the Kyrgyz nationalists. In the October 2010 elections, he was re-elected as a member of Supreme Council on the party list of Ata Jurt which led by Kamchai Bakhtashev, which won the majority of seats. From there he became the chairman of the committee on judicial and legal issues since 2012 Japarov has advocated the nationalization of the Kumtor gold mine located in his native Isikkul region and accused the management company Sentera Gold of environmental violations and corruption in this regard he gained popularity among his fellow countrymen during one of the rallies for the nationalization of Kumtor in the fall of 2012 The protesters attempted to take over the White House in Bishkek. Tashiyev and Japarov were both charged under Article 295 of the Criminal Code of the Kyrgyz Republic. Forcible seizure of power or forcible retention of power. In March 2013, the Pervomeski District Court of Bishkek found them guilty and sentenced them to 1 year and 6 months in prison. But in June 2013, the Bishkek City Court acquitted the politicians and released them in the courtroom. On the 27th of June 2013 during the protests against Kumtor in Karakol the protesters tried to kidnap the Akim of the region Emelbek Kaptagev and take him hostage the Kyrgyz authorities accused Japarov and Kubanichbek Kadyrov of organizing the plan the protest leaders were detained but Japarov who denied his involvement fled Kyrgyzstan where he lived for some time in Cyprus in 2017 Japarov attempted to return to Kyrgyzstan On the 25th of March 2017, he was detained at the Kyrgyz Kazakh border. In the case of allegedly attempting to kidnap Emelbek Kaptagev, he was sentenced to 11 years and 6 months in prison. While in prison, Japarov founded the political party Make Honshil with Kamchai Bakhtashev. Between 2018 and 2019, the party and its supporters grew and organized protests against Japarov's imprisonment. On the 5th of October 2020, protests and demonstrations against the results of the parliamentary elections began throughout 
Kyrgyzstan, after the release of Japarov from a seized government building on 6 October. He was taken to Eilatu Square in Bashkek where he sought appointment to become Prime Minister. Members of Parliament staying at the Dostuk Hotel approved his appointment that night. However with the opposition's nomination, Tilek Toktogaziev, declaring himself to instead be the legitimate head of government, Toktogaziev asserted the election to be illegal claiming that members were pressured by Japarov's supporters who had gathered near the hotel. Opponents of Japarov also highlighted the absence of a quorum and a violation of parliamentary procedure. On 13 October, then-President Suranbay Jeanbarov rejected Japarov's appointment as Prime Minister due to proxy voting.